Welcome back guys to another video. Let's talk about Workhorse Stock. It's been a while since I've talked about the company. It's been going up and up and down and down. It's a really crazy and volatile stock, which makes it pretty fun to swing trade if you guys could time it correctly. So at this current moment, Workhorse, in the past month, it rose all the way up to $28 and a massive plummet to $19. Almost feels like Workhorse doesn't like to go below 20. 20 is a major resistance point. So Workhorse is actually just consolidating around the $20 mark, being extremely flat in the past several days. And also it was very volatile going up and down, up and down with investors, a lot of them buying in and a lot of them selling at the same time. And a lot of people were, you know, just swing trading Workhorse. They made a lot of money. Before we dive any deeper, definitely check out the free Discord server with more than 22,000 members. Link in the description below. There's also a Patreon link below and my second channel, which I focus on Tesla videos and news. And it's heavily edited, so I'm sure you guys will definitely enjoy it. And there's a lot of really cool stuff coming for the second channel. And I really want you guys to subscribe and check it out. You don't want to miss out. So Workhorse recently, it's doing okay, okay? If you check out the one-year chart, it surged all the way up to $20 down to 15 because there's a huge enthusiasm for electric vehicles. And then it started climbing slowly to $30 because of the upcoming USPS contract. And what's super important about this is around this time, the S&P 500 was doing a really bad job. It kept going down for several weeks, but Workhorse kept climbing up a massive plummet to $22 because everyone was just so sick and tired of the delays. It went back up again because Roth Capital said that Workhorse was going to be getting the deal very, very soon. Stock prices started going up, massive plummet down because there was no news. Went back up again because of the anticipation of the USPS contract. This is like the third time. Plummeted once again because it's been delayed. Now, it almost feels like the reason why people play Workhorse is simply for the USPS contract and nothing else. But keep in mind that Workhorse's main business isn't making postal trucks. It's making the last mile logistics vehicles. Just to keep that in mind, don't be the guy that simply plays Workhorse because of the postal service contract. That's just a bonus thing on the side. Workhorse, on the other hand, the stock plummeted because of the USPS delays on the decision of the contract. On top of that, it was super delayed to the point of quarter two of 2021. So with that contract being so far away, at this current moment, I really recommend buying some workhorse shares or some long calls, meaning five to seven months, because workhorse is gonna repeat the same pattern again. As the USPS contract comes closer, we should be seeing the stock going up and up. And with workhorse consolidating at the $20 mark, I don't think it go down any lower. I still maintain my Workhorse $50 price tag because I really do feel like Workhorse should definitely go up. Any new contracts for the C1000 or the C650 vans will give the stock a massive boost. Any tiny news will give Workhorse like a 10 to 15% increase in a single day. This is a super jumpy stock. Even a little bit of news will send the stock flying. On top of that, you do have upcoming competition from Arrival EV. You also have, for example, some EV startups alongside with the Ford E Transit coming 2022. These are electric vans that are about the same size as the C650, but keep in mind that Workhorse does have one unique product, which is a C1000 truck. This is the bigger truck, which most companies can't seem to replicate. It's so big to the point that you could fit anything you want. And most logistics companies order the C1000 or the C650. And by the way, Workhorse already has a factory, but quarter three deliveries are super lousy in the single digits. And that's because they were facing a lot of shortages and also disruptions in supply from their battery suppliers and also other parts. For example, their lithium ion supplier was super delayed because of the pandemic. They had to close down the store and lay off a bunch of people. But the CEO of Workhorse said that 2021 will be a lot better and they should be producing roughly 1,800 to 2,000 vehicles in 2021. Now that is super bullish, whereas most electric companies right now who are making last mile delivery vans do not even have a factory. A rival EV, they're making the little mini cargo vans for the last mile delivery, no factory yet. You also have the Ford E Transit 2022, no factory yet. Workhorse is already a factory that they could somehow claim their stake in 2021 as the leading last mile electric delivery manufacturer, it'll be super big. Keep in mind, these last mile delivery vans is an $18 billion annual business here in the US alone. 
And if Workhorse does claim the massive stake here in the US, they may even transition to other places. They also are working with drones and also different phone apps as well, which is pretty impressive. But the Horsefly is a completely different story because this is mostly like drone technology. It's a little bit far-fetched, but it just shows you that Workhorse does more than just, you know, cargo vans and last mile delivery vehicles. They also like to do aviation and dropping cargo. This is pretty big. Who knows? They might even land some sort of a deal with some massive e-commerce company. That's just something on the side. And keep in mind that ARK Invest is consistently buying Workhorse. Even with Workhorse being this volatile in the past several months, Workhorse is one of the biggest buys from ARK Invest and Kathy Wood. If you check out this chart, you can clearly see it's super linear. And recently, ARK Invest is buying more and more shares. In the very beginning, around August 21st, this is kind of where the EV hype really began. They pretty much bought half a million shares and they slowly bought more. Around mid-November, they had over 1 million shares and now ARK Invest has a total of 1.5 million shares. They're buying Workhorse stock pretty much every single trading day. When you see ARK every single day slowly increase their positions on Workhorse, you better bet this is probably one of the best stocks to buy. And they're buying it for the ARKQ ETF. Workhorse is one of the biggest holdings for the RQ ETF. So just keep that in mind. And it's doing really, really well. I think Workhorse is a really big player simply because it has some really unique vehicles where no other company has. Sure, I get it, there's upcoming competition, but keep in mind that no one can actually produce the C1000 vans. This is a massive delivery van that most companies can make. And also, most companies can't even make vans that are fully electric that's bigger than the C650. So Workhorse has their own unique recipe in their vehicles. And most companies know that if you wanna have a good electric logistics van fleets, you're gonna have to partner with Workhorse. Other companies, their vehicles are way too small. Whereas the C1000, it's super duper big. I mean, the interior space is huge. Same thing with the C650. I really do believe Workhorse could be a really big deal. Now, sure, they got the postal service thing coming up. You could always ride the hype. Workhorse is at a pretty cheap price of $21. I might even buy some long calls just to play Workhorse. Remember when the USPS contract comes closer and closer, the share prices will slowly climb up. I don't think shares will go above $30 if there isn't more news about contracts. And keep in mind that recently, Workhorse is getting some contracts here and there, but they really need to show investors that, hey, we could start producing these vehicles as soon as possible, no more delays. This quarter and also last quarter, a lot of misfortunes because of massive delays from their suppliers, especially their batteries, etc. So I think Workhorse will get everything under control. Even the CEO said the same thing. No wonder ARC suddenly increased their positions massively. Look at this giant spike for Workhorse stock around early December. I think they know that Workhorse will be doing an extremely good job at making sure the company is fine and dandy. Thanks for watching, guys, and comment below.